Hi, this is Dana Linton from Novels Live TV, and today I have New York Times bestseller L.A. Banks here. Hi, We're you? so happy to have you here. <laughs> thank you for having me. <laughs> this is just awesome, and you are just a prolific writer. And obviously you do well, because if you make it to New York Times bestseller, that really says something, does it not? Thank you very much. So tell me about your latest book that came out and when your next book is coming out. Sure. Uh, Never Cry Werewolf, that came out in April, and that's the fifth book in the Crimson Moon novels um, that are published by St. Martin's Press. Uh -huh. And then the last book, book six, is coming out, um, it's Left for Undead, comes out October, October. of this year. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've got two books this year? Yeah, <laughs> which That's is a far cry. Normally I'm, you know, a lot more, <laughs> I'm more coming out next year than I wrote last year. You're complaining year. about two coming out in a year? Oh man, some people are grateful to get one in a year. Yeah, yeah, it's true, it's true. Now I heard through the grapevine that you were, you got to meet a certain, you know, guy that's gotten kind of popular called Barack Obama. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me tell you. Tell us about it. I want to hear. That was from a wild flaming email that I sent on the whitehouse.gov website. Oh. So seriously. I mean, I was like, okay. oh, you know, freaked out about healthcare because, you know, as an author, and if you're self-employed, like I am, me, okay, yeah. and I, you know, it's just myself and my daughter, and I watched my healthcare double for no reason because the, um, the carrier in my state was just racking up the rates. Mm -hmm. So, I had this rant morning, you know, and I went into author mode. I am going to write a letter to my boss, <laughs> honey. They don't want to hear from me. And I wrote this long stream of consciousness, no grammatical, you know, <laughs> punctuation, no spell check, just, and bam, send. No editor. <laughs> no editor. Just went off and, and I pushed send. And I walked away and I said, okay, I feel better. All right. right. And I went back to my life. And three weeks later, I get this call, Miss Banks, this is the White House. And I thought my friends were playing. Oh, really? <laughs> Did you? I laughed. I said, oh, get out. <laughs> and they were like, no, Miss Banks, this is really the White House. <laughs> oh. Then did you go, oh, crap. I did. Yeah. I was like, okay, am I in trouble? What happened? You know, I never, and I'm thinking Homeland Security because when I write, <laughs> <laughs> Look, I research weapons, explosives, oh, no. you know, es esoteric religions. <laughs> I got maps in DC because I blow up DC. So you're thinking, oh no, I'm a terrorist. I'm like, okay. yeah, I'm like, okay, and uh, is there a problem, sir? You know? They're like, no, no, we need to get some information from you because we have to vet you because we got your email. And, and so then I was like, okay, here's the thing. I'm, I'm never going to be vetted. I write vampires and werewolves. I'm not going to let me know the president. Right? What are you nuts? That's what started happening. So, a long, long, long story short, um, I wound up getting to introduce him and to meet him at when he did his healthcare summit in Philadelphia. And oh my God, you talk about you talk about cool, sexy, fine, <laughs> Bond, James Bond, oh my God. <laughs> so, you know, I still have my suit. It's, you know, I'm like, I'm never going to watch that suit. I got my hair. <laughs> so. That is just really, really, I mean, how many people can say I met the president? And not just met, you introduced yeah, the president. Yeah, that was pretty scary. That was the scariest thing oh. I've ever had to do public speaking wise because I kept thinking, please God, don't let me trip up on the podium, don't let oh, me yeah, fall, you know, and, and it was so funny because back, you know, backstage while they have everybody waiting, you know, to go in order, there's like a phalanx of secret service and oh, stuff, yeah, yeah. and this one, I mean, and I swear these guys, they're, they're like all the suits, like you can tell, it's like heavy metal, they're all packing. The, they are packing, <laughs> packing, and all like six, four, shoulders out to here, and they like, I mean, wires in their ear, the whole thing, I was like, I want a set of 24. <laughs> Ms. Banks, there's only two things you cannot do in front of the president. I'm like, yes, sir. You know, like, okay, you know, like, is this some kind of protocol or whatever? He's like, ma'am, don't faint and don't puke. <laughs> I was just like, I lost it. I just started laughing. And I needed it. And then he just cracked, like, a half smile. And I'm like, oh, that's it, your smile. Oh, my gosh. That is a great story. I mean, that's something that you did your daughter go with you. She did, she did, and of course, my, my stepmom and my sister, 
was gonna say your whole family. Threatened. They threatened to jump my daughter for the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> the one, the VIP ticket. So I had to call the White House. I was like, please, please, Can please. I it's a family thing. I'm gonna put out my family, please. You don't want that on your own. I know. And they were like, man, we're really not supposed to do this, but okay. And they, they oh, got me the tickets. They did, and they shook their hand. He sh they brought him by on the way out so that he could shake their hands. And I, you so know, they owe you big time. They owe time. me forever. I got and a little never video. never let forget it. <laughs> I'm a, the president. Okay. Right. <laughs> so. I think that is so awesome. Yeah. I wonder if you could write something into a story about you the character. You know, I'm working on the Men of Delta Force right now. Uh, so you know I got to put the POTUS in there some kind of way. At yeah. least him walking past through somehow, you know, I have to be careful of what I can say. Oh, course, yeah. But I have to do it. I just have to do it because, like, the technology that was behind the stage and, like, the cameras and stuff they had, I, I, I have to use it now. So, well, yeah, you know, I mean, that's what writing do they use their own experience absolutely and you know the best part of it all was my daughter had just turned 18 and, and eligibility for voting mm -hmm. so when we went to vote together the first person she voted for in her entire life was Barack Obama oh. and she and I went as a mother-daughter moment and I took my dad's tie in one pocket and my mom's ring in the other pocket because both, both my parents are gone and I was like, you should see this mom and dad, I'm standing in a booth. And now my daughter, you know, a year later, she gets to like meet the person she voted for and he's the president of the United States. This I got chills. Oh. Look at this, I got yeah, chills. Yeah, man. I was just like, oh my God. And I'm looking at my kids standing there and she's like wiping her eyes and I'm like, don't make me cry. I have to read. I have to read. You know? oh, that is such a proud so, moment for a parent. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I've got older kids too and when they say, I, I got it. it was, it's just, there's something yes. about that that just makes you feel yeah. like, okay. And yeah, like you, okay. I, I raised... A good, good citizen. One. Yeah, I got yeah. a good citizen here. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I have to. I didn't get to vote this year. There, oh. there was there was a little. I moved. Yeah. And something yeah. about. I, I went there. It was the last day, last minute, and and I mean, they I needed to have proof of residency or something, and I didn't know it. And I. That's the only time I've never. I haven't even. But it happened to a lot of people. A lot of people got messed up with that. So you know, I mean, your heart was in the right place. You went to try. I've never not yeah. voted, yeah. and so I felt really bad about oh. not being able. And my kids gave me a hard time because I gave them a hard time. Yeah. You have to vote. It's part of being a citizen of the United States. You yes. have to vote. So I really got harassed oh. big time for not getting that no. opportunity. Okay, so now we got to hear more about your books. Okay. So this one that just came out this month. Yes. Okay, tell us a little bit about it. Oh my goodness, it's, it's so crazy. Um, it's set in New Orleans, it's in the Werewolf series, and of course I have uh, Werewolves and Shadow Wolves, which are two different entities that kind of uh, battle it out. Okay, know? so one's good, one's bad? Or not yeah, necessarily? Yeah, sort of like that. Like the Werewolves are a little edgy, they have a problem with the moon. You know, <laughs> these guys are a little, you know, they start with <laughs> trouble. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and if they get demon infected, then they become like the wolf man slobbering, you know, okay. beasty kind of a thing. So they're it's not, bad. They're bad. Okay. They're bad. Gotcha. Okay. Now, but my shadow wolves are kind of like the sexy shapeshifters that can go into the shadow of a building and come out holding the properties of that building for a few seconds. So if they throw a haymaker oh. at you, you know, after coming out of a building shadow, you're going to get hit with a cinder block punch. Ouch. Ouch. Or if, you know, they jump into the shadow and they can disappear into shadows, um, that's why they're the shadow wolves. If they go into the shadow of an 18-wheeler that's moving fast, they can come out moving 80 miles an hour like the 18-wheeler for a few seconds. So, wow. you know, so these guys are like the ones that keep the other bad wolves in check. Like and they're the ones that, you know, uh, are the, like the kind of the thin blue line of defense and of course the hero, he's a shadow wolf and he's hooked up with my heroine who's military which causes a lot of problems oh, in her I day job. So. Yeah, yeah, her day job is having problems with it and uh, yeah. So Just, how do you come up with these ideas? Because I mean, the shadow, how do you come up with shadow wolves and I mean, that's just amazing I, to me. Channel surfing, I swear, I swear to you, I'm channel surfing and I'm like watching the military channel and they were talking about border wars and there is actually a Native American patrol that are called the Shadow Wolf Company. Oh. And I was like, 
How what? cool is this? How cool is that? And the reason they were picked, you know, they picked that name and all that because they have the, the wolf totem. And the wolf is honorable and good and monogamous and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but they are like the expert trackers. Oh. So I was like, oh, pfft, you know. I gotta write this. I, I, you know. So, and then I started researching the lore mm -hmm. on, uh, you know, the wolf totem and the Native American piece, and I was like, huh. And then I found that there's like this crazy statistic that something like 75% of all African Americans in this country who were born here um, are, you know, That's some Native, kind of Native American, you know, mixture in their family. Oh. So I'm like, oh, I know what? It's gonna be a black Indian, a, you know, shadow oh, wolf yeah. up on the Canadian border. Oh, I got this, honey, and I'm gonna make this fine. It just Elba kind of, you know. <laughs> so I just went from there. You know? Once I get the man's, you know. Then, uh, then you can just let it yeah, flow. Yeah, right? from there. So. so, how many books in this series? It's six. Six it's total. Six, six total. So and yeah. you've got how many? It's five. This was book five that came out. So oh. the thrilling conclusion is in October. Is that can be hard? Yeah, you know what? It was. Um, I did a 12 book series with the Vampire Hunters Legends uh -huh. and that was super hard to cut that off because those mm -hmm. characters kept talking to me afterwards and they wound up in graphic novels to so having like a, a, a epilogue to the series but I didn't have enough you know to really give readers that good full book uh -huh. and I had you know concluded everything so tight and wrapped it up yeah. I was like this is going to get messy so I'll go with graphic novels with that but that's, that's neat. Who have you got right, or doing the illustrations? Oh, um, Brett Booth uh, is doing the illustrations, and um, uh, Les DeBell from the DeBell Brothers connected me in with, well, they merged with Dynamite, um, and so they're going to, it's coming out in July, the first issue. So oh, I'm still wow. writing the Vampire Hunters series, but in abbreviated right. format, mm -hmm. you know, the 22 page. Uh, uh, comics and then they'll collect them into one book and make a graphic novel and all that. But well, do you see a movie in the future? Your mouth to God's <laughs> ear. I'm going to go and hug Charlene Harris and rub up against her. <laughs> get that good vibe. I got to get that good vibe, you know, so. Well, you are, I think that you're just good luck all together. <laughs> you. know, maybe she needs to rub up off my Oh, no, no, no. She's the <laughs> Well, you, you get a film. She's got the HBO series. And you now, have a film. when I grow up, I want to be just like her. <laughs> Believe me, the series is better than film. You like series better? I do because you know what? The film. What can they do? They can only maybe do one or maybe one and a half of your books. But if you get an HBO series, That's oh my true. God, they can do it the goes twelve. Forever. Book. It goes forever. But, but so, you got Harry Potter. I mean, they're on their sixth, sixth month coming true. up. That's true. I wouldn't so have good. a problem. Believe me, now if they That's, wanted to yeah, Harry Potter, sure they didn't have a problem. <laughs> no, no, if they wanted to Potterize me, or they wanted to do like uh, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm not worthy of the precious. Okay, Hollywood. <laughs> you've heard. We, we need a film. Absolutely, man. Well, thank you very much. Thank I really you. appreciate you. Oh, take care. Thank you.